any of us have had an altercation with a teacher. If you have, it was probably because of a disagreement and for some probably turned into a huge argument. You probably even got told to leave the classroom or sent to the principal's office or even ISS. What if it got to the point where they had to pick you up and no, not like pick you up and throw you over their shoulder or pick you up by the waist or even your arm, but your neck. Got a landing on his feet. <laughs> Before you ask, that is not LeVar Ball. Meet Joseph Golden III, a 50-year-old behavioral specialist at the Rankin Promise Alternative School in the Woodland Hills School District. That is a mouthful. This is pretty much a school for badass kids, and their job, in theory, is to set them on the right track for success. Now, right now, Joseph Golden is being charged with assault and endangering the welfare of a child. Everyone is saying that the kid was wandering out of class multiple times that day, that that's not the first time he was outside in the hallway. Pretty much at an alternative school, he is still skipping class. And his attorney also said that the kid was mouthing off to teachers too, and that he was not injured in any way whatsoever. His attorney argues that Golden was not choking the kid, but that he grabbed him by his chin in an approved restraint method. That is an approved restraint method? Oh my God. And I remember my kindergarten teacher she had the permission to whoop us if we ever acted out and I definitely got a taste of that but picking a child up by the neck dear god I've been picked up off the ground because when I was a kid one of the ways that we tested our strength is that we would pick others up I don't even think I thought or even attempted to pick somebody up by the neck but then again maybe I have I bet you one thing though he won't talk back or walk outside of class again but then again he's in that school for a reason so actually I doubt it now personally I do not think mr. golden was wrong but for some it literally takes takes the infliction of physical, emotional, or mental pain just for them to finally get the message. And that's the truth. This is the same thing I said in one of my other videos. Because sometimes people need a punch or a smack to the face. It's true. Because a lot of people go through life subconsciously thinking that they're untouchable, if not unstoppable. When in reality, they're not. Also, if you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it right here. You can just click on it or it'll be in the description. And that's all I have for right now. And I guess the question of the day is, is that could the situation been handled differently? And if so, how would you have handled it? And the phrase of the day that I want people to put in the comment section is that Mr. Golden does not play. Plus, you got to keep in mind, Mr. Golden is 50. That means he is the definition of an OG. He doesn't have time to put up with that mess. Why are you making people's jobs harder? I think the kid got what he deserves and plus since he's not injured, I mean, come on now. If he needs to be fired, that's fine. But I don't think he should go to jail or anything or be prosecuted for this. But let me know what you think in the comment box. And if you liked or agree with anything I've had to say, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all of it's in the link in the description below. And until then, I hope everybody has a great day. is set.